All right, as you can see, I am working on a buffalo and not the Indian lady. And the reason why is because I've had a lot more interest in the buffalo than I've had in anything else in here. So I thought I'd work on this uh, for the next couple of days. It's the last weekend that we're going to be showing here. And so I'm just going to be doing some major corrections to the buffalo's head uh, because I'm noticing that I got him too wide in the head and I need to narrow it down a little bit. All right, be right back. Time to play with some clay. I got my alcohol lamp lit and I'm heating up my tool, which in this case is a knife. Look how close I came to cutting my wrist. I was cutting through the clay and it shot through and hit me right there. Wow. It just scratched it, but boy, that came awful close. Well, it's lucky that you have a dull knife. Yeah, no shit. <laughs> Any sharper, I would have had a good size cut right there. Face too wide, so I'm cutting it down. You got on the face too wide? Yeah. See, they got narrow faces that just got a big tuft of fur right in front. Yeah, I don't know. I think he looks pretty And I had his eye way out here, so I gotta just cut it down a little bit. I guess you've already started cutting, so I can't say, no, don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's easy to fix. I mean, I sculpted it in the first place, so. That's cool. Yeah, I've heated up this uh, tools loop so I can shave off some of this old clay under the newer clay, the five-year-old clay that I got underneath here. I know that guy. Yeah, I know. I wish I was an original. <laughs> This stuff's uh, really hard because it's been sitting for five years and all the oil has seeped out of it and so I need to uh, get it down to where I can start adding new clay to it.
What I'm doing is just establishing his eyes. And it's got a real smooth skin that surrounds the eyes. And the eye itself, because of the uh, skull, shape of the skull, actually looked like they're popping out of his head. Okay, I'm making the horns and I'm trying to equalize their thickness and length. And I'm going to try to place them evenly to the head. I think that's what I got right there. Might raise it up just a little bit. What they're doing is advertising how soft and comfortable that couch is. I see. Oh, okay. I see. And having a good visit in, at the same time. Yes. Yeah. I love these butts. Aren't they nice? I'm experimenting with that fur texture right now using a fondue stick. So did you gentlemen know Larry? Yeah, he was our neighbor. Oh, cool. Yeah, he was a great guy. Oh, Larry was the best. Yeah. Did you do Bob Gates too? Yeah. He was our immediate neighbor. He immediate neighbor. They moved to Bozeman, but uh, yeah. Yeah. Can I get a picture of you and that? <laughs> sure. Yeah, yeah. I do. Oh. Get a picture. This is David Lemon. Hi, David. Hi. How you doing? Good. Oh, it looks, looks like it's coming along now. It's starting to. I had to cut the face part uh -huh. because I had it too wide. Yeah. And I was not getting it exactly right, and I wanted to get it right. Yeah, I mean get it exactly right it won't be art well it won't be the buffalo let's see first that button uh and you can zoom it uh, Oh. 
You can come in and see. You're not going to disturb me if you come in and watch. <laughs> if that was the case, I'd stay home. <laughs> The uh, eyebrow or the eye lid is a little puffier than most animals. I'm not sure why, but it is. I'm going to try a different approach on this. Little balls of clay instead of poking. Let's just see what happens here. I'm trying to think of an easier way for them to make a mold of it and have it still coming out look like fur texture. You're welcome to come in with a dog. You're welcome to come in with a dog. <laughs> That's awesome. That's great. We love dogs. Yeah. We've only encountered one place so far. That <laughs> Which one? In Virginia City. I oh, yeah. A, to be fair, it was a candy store. So. Oh, yeah. yeah. That, that does make sense. <laughs> Thank you. All right, bye-bye. That's going to be it for today. I'll see you tomorrow. Good night, everybody. If you like this video, please like and subscribe to my channel. It really would help me. Also, check out the link below this video. It will take you to a review of my nine instructional videos that could be very helpful to you if you're thinking of sculpting. Good night, everybody.